I another divine diva K here another hair ramblings um, I just have to remind myself that this is a journey it's not a race and um, even though I see people with glorious luscious locks my journey is going to be different it's gonna be my journey and um, so this is my journey I last night I co-washed I pre pooed with some VO5 um, the strawberry mo uh, hold on a second let me get it um, it's the strawberries and cream moisture milk a VO5 I got quite a few of these on sale so they're cheap and they're they, they do the trick um, I pre pooed with that and what else did I put in a little bit of Diva Cure one Diva Curl one conditioner had that on for about a half an hour then went into the shower washed my hair washed my hair with the um, she sent it avocado let me get that too sorry I'm just not prepared today uh, she sent avocado conditioner um, I'm not quite a fan of this particular one it it's moisturizing for dry hair and for me it does nothing I've tried it now several times and I'm about here I'm about here on it and I've tried it several times and actually really don't like it so, but everybody is up to the, it's the, everybody's opinion and everybody's hair is different so everybody's opinion of what they use is going to be different I use the pomegranate the pomegranate one for um, extremely dry hair that one worked fantastic for me so um, when I'm done with this I'm going to go back to that because that that is one of the ones that I liked a lot I'm, I'm trying to get through my conditioners and then go back to the ones that that actually um, did very well for my hair I have so many rinse out conditioners that I really can't uh, condone or justify buying anymore so when the, when I get through with this um, I'm done um, I'm just trying to see if I can pour this out so you can see it. it's green it's liquidy and I am NOT a fan of it it doesn't doesn't do anything for my hair when I put the pomegranate in and my curls start to pop this does nothing so I wash with that and then I have a um, and then I use the Diva Curl. Um, I'm sorry, my stash is over there. Diva Curl one condition, and I wash, rinse my hair. So then, what I did after that was I did a deep condition, um, and I deep conditioned with uh, Jane Carter's their deep conditioner, and that one usually does really well by my hair. My hair was just extremely dry, which is why I washed it a second time or co-washed it a second time in the week because I usually only co-wash one time a week. And my hair was just extremely dry. I mean, I was just throwing all sorts of stuff in it, trying to get it to, to moisten up, and it just was not having any of it. So I um, I deep conditioned for about, I'd say an hour, hour and a half with um, the Jane Carter. And um, my heating cap wasn't quite plugged in, uh, so it was only a intense heat for about a half an hour of that hour and a half. Um, but it, 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 it all came out in the wash because when I rinsed my hair out, curls were popping. And then um, I used the Diva Curl wash, you know, t to, um, to kind of co-wash again with the um, deep conditioner in. Rinsed it out, put a little Diva Curl, left a little D Diva Curl one condition in. And then what I did was I used the um, Cur Coils by Nature Shea Aloe Leave-In. And I put that in my hair and I um, smoothed and raked, smoothed and raked. Then I put a generous amount of the Eco Styler Argon Oil. Let me just get that. The Argon Oil um, Eco Styler Argon Oil. Um, and this is a hold of 10. And it has Argon Oil in it. It's alcohol free. So I put a generous amount of that in there. And then I also I also would use the upper Kiss My Face Upper Management Gel. This 
I put on top of the argan because the first time I used this by itself, and I think I used it with, I think I used it with the Shea Aloe actually. I had so many fairy knots. It was crazy. I mean, I had knots all over my hair when I used this alone over the Shea Aloe. I will never do that again. And so I was getting ready to just give this to my younger sister and see if it would work for her. Because I was like, I am not going to use this again. And I was watching some videos, and people were talking about layering gels. So I, I know that the Eco Styler gel is a nice, with, with the argan oil, it's like a heavier, oilier gel. So I figured, okay, if I put this gel, with this gel on top, I can kind of use this up. Because I know I'm not going to buy this again. So I could kind of use this gel up and, and get my money's worth. And so the, the, the hole was pretty firm. I, this morning I uh, spritzed it with some water and I put some Tasty Tasty Kiss Ayurvedic butter or hair butter, Ayurvedic hair butter. I love this stuff. Um, on my hair. So I spritzed it with water, put a little bit of it in there and um, this is what I got. It's very shrunken, but I knew it was going to be shrunken because I had two gels on that I didn't expect. So I expected first hair was not going to be anything, and this is what I got for first hair. So this is first day hair. Do I see I get back so you can see the top? So this is this is my hair. I'm still loving it. Still loving it. And um, I just have to kind of try to figure out something that works for my hair because I have become a complete product junkie. I have, I'm not even going to start to show you this stuff because everybody has a product junkie video. Um, but I'm trying to f hone in on the, the things that actually work for my hair, that actually make a difference. And then just start using those. I mean, and I know people have said that, but you know, when you're first natural, you just want to just try everything. Everybody, oh, try this. Oh, try that. Oh, try this. You know, I have to decide what's best for my hair and, and go with it. I haven't found a curl twin yet. Somebody who, what, what, what works for their hair will work for mine. I have a lot of people I like to watch. Um, ergo why I have so much stuff the problem is is a lot of the stuff that I have doesn't work for my hair so um, but I guess you have to go through that to figure out what works and what doesn't and um, whereas I want to try to be as natural as I can I'm starting to think that maybe I do need to bring some of these silicone and some of these other things back in I live in a northern climate so now winter is in full bloom so glycerin the dews are so low, glycerin is not happening here. So I am trying to find glycerin-free things that I can use in my hair. However, I am just, I don't want to buy anything more. <laughs> I've got so much stuff here, I don't want to buy anything more. I want to use up what I have. So I want to try to figure out what works for me. I've been writing in a, journey, in a, a hair journey journal to figure out what combinations work and what combinations don't work. What do I like? What don't I like? What does my hair like? What it doesn't like? And now I just got to go back through the journal and say, okay, what happened on this with this combination? What happened on that combination? And it takes a little work. Something I wasn't willing to do. I wanted to just look at a video and have it work for me. Well, no, that's not going to happen. I have to figure it out. I have to do a little work on my own, work on my own. So that is some hair ramblings. And I hope you guys have a great day and hope that your journey is going well. Mwah.